Well, I'm coming to you with an update from His Excellency Bobby Wine's camp. Stand by for the details. The Deputy Speaker of Parliament has denied having misunderstandings with the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk. And the Speaker has gone beyond her call for duty to treat me as a brother and me to treat her as a sister. Well, a very good morning. This is the Buzz UG, and my name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. If it's your first time right here on the Buzz UG, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, NUP President, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, is in Ukraine to express solidarity with the people of Ukraine and their leadership against Russia's aggression. Bobby Wine says, if dictators can stand by each other, then why not the Democrats? It should be remembered that Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov recently visited President Museveni in State House. Bobby Wine is also expected to address the Dutch Parliament towards the end of this week. I'll be keeping you posted right here on the Buzz UG. <music> Bobby Wine's friend and NUP diehard, commonly known as Geno Sauda Madada in the NUP camp, her condition is not well. She's admitted at Rubaga Hospital, where she has spent some days battling a yet-to-be-known sickness. Well, right here on the Buzz UG, Sauda Madada, we are very sorry for what you're going through, but we really wish you a very quick recovery. Eddie Away, Bobby Wine's brother, is back in the news. A young lady identified as Sumaya Shiba has revealed that she recorded a song with him titled Akalosa, but after denying him sex as requested, Mr. Eddie Awe decided to redo the song with another artist and changed the title to Kalosa. The first title was Akalosa and he later changed it to Kalosa. Well, it should be remembered that this is not the first artist to come out accusing Mr. Eddie Away of asking for sex in the process of working with him. Eddie Away had issues with Karo Nantongo, he had issues with Martha Mukisa, and here comes Sumaya Shiba. However, we haven't heard from Mr. Eddie Away about this accusation, but we hope that he will come out to clean his name. And, you know, we cannot confirm this accusation before hearing from, you know, the big man himself, Eddie Away. I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Mr. Bebe Cool is also trending so big time after releasing a song titled Nyege Nyege. However, it seems this song is not sounding well in very many people's ears. You know, the song has been criticized so big time on social media. And also, King Saha has again attacked Bebeku's camp. Uh, King Saha says the writer of this Nyege Nyege song needs some chivoko. I mean, how do you write such a song? <laughs> Uh, King Saha went ahead and told Bebe Cool that he can write for him good music free of charge. <laughs> In case you haven't listened to the song, I think you can check it out on Bebe Cool's YouTube channel. It was released yesterday. Now, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Thomas Tayewa, has dismissed reports suggesting that there are misunderstandings between himself and the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, as it has been saturated in the media. Honorable Thomas Tayewa has been reported to be in a mission to assassinate the Speaker of Parliament, but he says all is well with the Speaker. I saw some of them on TV yesterday, sparing doom for this house. Uh, announcing a divided house, a house uh, maybe where they speak out of their fertile imagination, where they speak and they get to speak about kill each other. And uh, I, I just saw and I said, but you, you mean a devil can have such power? 
Now, Tayebwa notes that those fabricating the allegations are those working towards dividing the now united parliament. So why should I go into a room of a speaker? And I was brought up in a very humble manner. Huh? 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 <laughs> and I want to uh, assure you colleagues that the speaker, I wanted to go on record, the speaker has given me all the necessary support I need as a deputy speaker. And the speaker has gone beyond her call for duty to treat me as a brother and me to treat her as a sister. Only my prayer that there are no misunderstandings between the deputy speaker and the speaker because it impacts directly on our mandates as members of parliament. It would be good if there is good communication between the two. In an institution where both leaders are working together and where there is uh, performance, other evil-minded people start creating uh, messages of hate. And we shall support each other. And we shall support each other. <laughs> In the same sitting, Horrible Thomas Tayewa also confirmed the death threats to the speaker, saying this is the second time his boss is getting the death threats within a period of one month. This came after some members of parliament raised concern of the safety of their boss after the speaker's revelation that her life is in danger. I can assure you that since when it happened, we have held meetings with security chiefs of this country. We have held meetings at the highest level in this country. And all is verified. Not that all is fine, but all is verified. Well, there you go. That's the latest update I have for you right here on The Buzz UG. It's day two of this brand new week. I hope this week has started on a good note for you. But if it's on a bad note, I'm really sorry you're going through that. But you just have to keep praying to the most high and everything will be back to normal. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.